Greetings lovely people, it's Emmy and I am back. I am back to share with you a little recipe, sort of an impromptu recipe. I had heard about this kind of pudding that you can make using coconut milk and, and chia seeds. I bought this bag at Trader Joe's, I think it was like five or six bucks. They look a little bit like poppy seeds, but a little bit longer in shape. Anyways, they're supposed to have all kinds of great benefits for you in terms of having great source of soluble fiber, great source of omega 3s and 6s. Anyways, it's a great thing. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how I did it. So dump in your chia seeds, try not to spill them everywhere. Then add your honey and then put on a tight fitting lid and give everything a good shake. Refrigerate for two to three hours or preferably overnight and you're done. This is what you get. But look how thick this is. It's incredible. It's like a rice pudding. And those little things in there are the chia seeds. Itadakimasu. Mmm. So good. I love it. The coconut milk is nice and rich. It's kind of like a tapioca or I think more like a rice pudding. There's a slight texture. It's very, very thick and jellied. And there's a little bit of a seedy crunch. Just a little bit. Not to be bothersome or annoying or anything, it's just lovely. If you don't like coconut, you can also try, I've seen other recipes with yogurt. Someone put on Facebook making a type of oatmeal with that. Like an overnight oatmeal, you just add berries, chia seeds, and old fashioned rolled oats. Add that all together and just let it soak overnight and then you've got a really healthy, delicious breakfast. I soaked a quarter cup, which is about four tablespoons, in about a cup of water. Look at this beautiful, mucilaginous stuff. Look at that. Can you see that up close? Look. Oh, it's so cool. You can buy a lot of these drinks now, kombucha, a bunch of different kinds of drinks now that have chia seeds in them and they're floating in suspension like frog eggs, a bit like my basil, uh, my basil seed drink. So I'm going to try making one myself and I think it's going to be super easy. I'm just going to take my homemade kombucha. Get it open! Oh. And then let's just pour some kombucha in there. How cool is that? You make your own chia seed drink. Let's taste it. Here we go. It smells like kombucha. But you know, you don't have to use kombucha. You can use like any drink, any fruit juice, any lemonade, anything you want if you want to try this. Here we go. Hmm. So the taste is the same. It tastes like kombucha, but the consistency is definitely altered. Kombucha is usually effervescent, light, and fuzz fizzy. Um, this becomes a gel. It's a very thick, not very thick, but thick. It thickens it up, and then you get these little crunchy chia seeds inside. So I probably wouldn't mix it with kombucha again, maybe with a, a juice, because I like my kombucha fizzy. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you, my little experiment. Definitely try the pudding recipe if you love coconut. I think you'll have a new happy dessert. And this too, if you want to make a drink. I think this would really be great in smoothies and, and other things as well. Kombucha, for me, I like my kombucha straight up. I hope you guys enjoyed that little recipe quickie. Um, yeah, a little exploration on chia seeds. So I will see you, yeah. I'll see you in my next video, other recipe videos. Bing, bing, bing. But don't forget to, you know, do all that good stuff down there. You know, not down there. You know, subscribe and like, like and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'd like to share with you a portrait that I recently had commissioned. I think it's a really good likeness.